In this video, I'll show you how to make random sounds for your game. The very first thing you're going to want to do is simply import the sounds you want to use and make sure that they're .wav files. Once that's done, you're just going to want to right click, go to sounds, and then go to sound cue. This is basically where the magic's going to happen. Magic. From here, what you're going to want to do is just title this random or whatever you would like to title it, and then open this up. In here, what you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that you bring in your two sounds, which in my case is a rooster. I didn't mean to do that. And you bring that in. And then once you have your sounds in here, of course, this is going to be titled accordingly, depending on what you want. You want. Drag from the output into random. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us some pins and we're just going to connect that into our sounds. If you have more sounds, just simply add another input to add that in and basically we're all set so what we're doing now is we're going to save that and we are going to come in to our project here and then we are going to find our third person blueprint here come in here blueprint character blueprint and what we're going to do is we are just going to basically give ourselves the option to press a button. It's going to play our sounds. But if you want to attach it to like when your character jumps and then does the sound effect, whatever, you can do that. But I'm just going to do uh, the F key. So for the keyboard effect, when pressed, play sound 2D. And then from here, I'm just going to select the random sound cue so now what's going to happen is when i press the f button it's going to play that sound so if i just compile here and i come in and i play i press f you can hear that it does the one sound if i press f again changes it to the chicken does it again chicken and etc and the reason that there's a gap in between there is because once again, if I come back in here, I added an additional input just for demonstration. So it's kind of skipping that. Otherwise, it would just be going between those two. But there you go. That's how you do random sound effects in your game.